All right, hi everybody. Um, hey, I decided to make a video of the HHS um, tree identification activity, just in case people were struggling with how to do the dichotomous key. That's what that key for Hopkins plants is called. It's called a dichotomous key. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through this. You can go as, you could speed this video up and watch it at double time if you want, um, but just wanna make sure you know how to do it because this will be on our test. I'm gonna give you a photograph of a leaf and I'm gonna give you some information about the tree and you need to be able to identify what kind of tree it is using a key just like the one we have on the side. It won't be the same one, it'll be similar. Um, so let's go ahead and try a few and see if you can get the hang of it. All right, so this is tree A. We start always with question number one in a dichotomous key. And in this case, every single time the plants are gonna be more than two inches tall because we're keying out um, trees. So it's always gonna be more than two inches tall. But regardless, we start with question number one and it says plant more than two inches tall or plant not more than two inches tall. So if it's more than two inches tall, we go to two. Question two says it has needles or it does not have needles. Needles are those really sharp spikes that um, pine trees have. So it does not have needles. So if it does not have needles, we read across and it says go to five. So we're gonna skip three and four and we're gonna go to number five. This one says leaves are opposite or leaves are alternate. Sometimes on the photos I show you and I need you to figure that out. I couldn't find a good photo for this one. So I wrote it right there. These leaves are opposite. So it says leaves are opposite, go to six. And then finally leaves are are compound or leaves are simple. Compound means it's a whole bunch of leaves on one stem. In this case, it's just one leaf on a stem. So we say it's simple. So then it says go to seven. Seven says leaf has small drops of white milky sap oozing out of the leaf stem when pulled off the tree, or the leaf does not have that white milky sap. Well, there's the stem. I see white milky sap, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a Norway maple. So where it says Norway maple for tree A, oh, I should do that right now. I could do it, couldn't I? I'm gonna go ahead and annotate with Cami, silly me. Um, and we're gonna write that that's tree A on Cami. Once I get Cami running, if I can do it well enough, maybe that was a bad idea. I hope it, I hope it was a good idea. We'll see. Um, while we're waiting for Cami to get running, let's go ahead and take a look at tree B. And I'm gonna hit present again so that I can see the whole leaf. My computer's going a little slow. I sure hope you're doing this in fast forward. There we go, there's tree B. Let's see if we can get Cami to work on the other side. So tree B, I see that this one, I found a photograph where it shows whether the stems, the branches are opposite or alternate. So opposite means they're directly across from each other. Alternate means they're staggered. So I can tell with tree B that the leaves are directly opposite of each other. So if we get to that question, we'll know what to do. Okay, so for the text box, the first one right here is tree A. Come on, there we go, tree A. And I'm just gonna type in A and then I'm done with that. Okay, so now we're on to tree B and we're ready to do the next section. So it says, um, we always start with question number one. Plant is more than two inches tall, go to two. Does it have needles? No, go to five. Um, leaves are opposite or alternate? Well, we just said these leaves are opposite, so go to six. Six says leaves are compound or simple. This is just one leaf on a stem, so it is simple. Simple says go to seven. Seven says it has drops of milky wet. Well, no, because that's the one we just did, so it must be seven B, and that says go to eight. Finally, eight says the leaf has smooth edges or the leaf has toothed edges. Well, these tiny little jig jags, those are teeth, everybody. So that is toothed edges. So that, my friends, is a red maple. So that is our tree B today. All right, next one, tree C. The tree is affected by emerald ash borer, which is an invasive insect. So this is what the tree is supposed to look like. But if this insect, here's the picture of an emerald ash borer, if it attacks the tree, this is what the tree looks like and then eventually the tree dies. All right, but this is what the leaf looks like. So let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Always go back to question number one. Yes, it's more than two inches tall. No, it does not have needles. So we're gonna go to five. 
find number five. Leaves are opposite or alternate. Well, let's take a look. The leaves, it looks like they're straight across from each other. They're not staggered. So this is opposite. So opposite says go to six. So here's question six. Are the leaves compound or simple? This is one stem and there's a whole bunch of leaves on it. So when one stem has a whole bunch of leaves, we say that that's compound. Oh, and now we have our answer. So green ash is, whoops, see if I can get that to work. Tree C. Next, tree D. Oh, look at those wacky leaves. There's like some leaves that are the same. I mean, like some leaves that are just normal and then some leaves that are funky shapes. All right, and it says these are simple leaves. It's not compound and there's no flattened petiole. There's no flattened stem. I'm sure that's a hint as we go. So back to number one. It's more than two inches tall. Back to number two, it does not have needles. Go to number five. Are they opposite or alternate? Oh my gosh, that is so clearly staggered. They're not opposite, they are alternate. So that's the first one we've had that's alternate. Go to number nine, let's scroll down. Does the tree have white bark or not? Oops, I didn't show you what color bark it has. It does not have white bark. You probably know what has white bark. Um, so that one does not have white bark. So you know what, I'm gonna take a moment just to, whoops, here, hold on. I'm gonna write that it does not have white bark. Maybe that was a mistake um, to click into this because my computer's going kind of slow. But let's see if I can make it work. Um, does not have white bark. Simple leaves, not compound. There we go. That should be good. So let's present again. Okay, so it does not have white bark. So I'm looking over here. So it says go to number 10. Leaves have parallel veins or leaves have pinnate or palmate veins. So parallel veins mean all of the veins are running in the same direction. They're all going like a blade of grass. They're all running in one direction. These, leave, these veins, they're bumping into each other. They're splitting. These are not parallel veins. So it says go to 11. Leaves have a flattened petiole. Well, in the writing here, it says there's no flattened petiole. So that is not, a petiole is the stem. And you can tell by rolling it between your fingers if it's flattened or not. So it does not have a flattened petiole. So we do number 13. Leaf is simple or compound. It says these are simple leaves. It's a, this is, um, one branch and each stem has one leaf on it. So this is a simple leaf. So that says go to 14. 14 says leaf has smooth edges or leaf has toothed edges. Well, all those little jig jaggedies, those are um, teeth. So it says go to 16, down to 16. Some of the leaves have lobes. A lobe is when it goes in and out and it only says some of the leaves have lobes or the leaves are not lobed. Well, these leaves are not lobed, but if you go down here, these definitely have lobes. So some of the leaves have lobes. That means this friend is a mulberry. Yes, I called a tree a friend. All right, that's tree D nerds. Let's keep going. Tree E, here we go. It's a humongous tree. Let's see what we can figure out. So always going back to question number one, is it more than two inches tall? Yes. So go to number two. Does it have needles? No. Go to number five. Are the leaves opposite or alternate? Let's take a look. That is definitely staggered. They are not opposite. So we're going to say that that's alternate. Go to nine. Does the tree have white bark? No, it does not. So the tree does not have white bark. Go to 10. Are the leaves, do they have parallel veins or do their veins branch? It is This one's tricky because it kind of looks like the veins are parallel, but they're all intersecting the main vein. And so this is not parallel. Parallel means none of that, none of the veins intersect. They all run next to each other. Um, so this is not parallel veins. So go to 11. Does it have a flattened petiole? Ooh, I should, I should write this one. So it does not have, oops, going back. Um, let's see, I'm gonna hit escape. It does not have a flattened petiole. Give me a moment to write it. Let's see if I do a text box, I'll put it right there. How about, come on. 
no flattened petiole. No flattened petiole. That's just a hint for you. All right, so we'll keep presenting here. So no flattened petiole. So now we are on 11B and it says go to 13. Oops, I should hit present over here. So we're on number 13. Leaf is simple or leaf is compound? In this case, the leaf is simple. It's just one leaf on the stem. I know that it looks like it might be compound, but that is just a simple leaf. So it says go to 14. And 14 says the leaf has smooth edges or the leaf has toothed edges. Those are definitely teeth nerds. So that's um, this last one. Go to 16, it says. And 16 says some of the leaves have lobes or the leaves are not lobed. These are not lobes. This is There's none of this big in and out business. So we say the leaves are not lobed. That means this is an American elm. So this is E. Let's get E written down. Good. Next, tree F. Let's take a look back to the top. Um, it's more than two inches tall. It does not have needles. So it says go to five. Five says the leaves are opposite or alternate. So let's look right here and see if we can tell. These are staggered. So it looks like this is alternate. That's a tricky photo to tell for sure. But I'm going to say that that's alternate. So leaves are alternate. We're going to go to nine. Tree has white bark. It does not have white bark. So that's going to be 9B. It says go to 10. 10 says leaves have parallel veins. Nope, the veins are intersecting the main vein in the middle. So that is not parallel. So go to 11. Um, 11 says leaves have a flattened petiole. And if you look very carefully here, it says laterally flattened. That means that um, instead of a nice round stem, it's got a really flat stem. So yes, the leaf is, or the petiole is flattened. So that says go to 12. We haven't done this one before. Has fewer than 30 teeth per leaf or has more than 30 teeth per leaf? Well, these little jig jags are the teeth. I don't even know if I could count that high. Um, let's see, I wish I could make it bigger for us. I wonder if I can. Can I make it? A, I don't think I can make it much bigger. Will it go bigger? There we go. That's a little bit better. So cr trying to count all these little jig jags, all these little teeth, that is way more than 30 teeth per leaf. Um, so I'm going to go bring this back again. So it has way more than 30 teeth per leaf. So that would be this one. And that is a quaking aspen. So we write F here. We write F. Good. Next. Tree G. All right. Tree G. Oh, look at that. It's got white bark. I bet some of you just know what that one is right away. You know which ones have white bark, I bet. So more than two inches tall. It does not have needles. So we go to five. Number five said leaves are opposite or alternate. This is definitely staggered. So they're like this. They're not across. So this is alternate. Um, so alternate says go to nine. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see it better. Is there a way to get this to go away? I want this menu to go away. What if I click on that? What happens? Just the opposite of what I wanted. I don't want that to be there. So I'm going to make that go away. Okay, that's fine. So um, leaves are alternate. So that says go to nine. Number nine, tree has white bark. Yeah, it does. So this is a paper birch and that's tree G. Good. Next, tree I. There's no tree H, everybody. I. It's a long story, but there's no tree H. There's two of them that we're going to skip. So tree, a, um, tree I. Let's see what we can find out. So yes, it's more than two inches tall. No, it does not have needles. So go to five. Are the leaves opposite or alternate? Well, it looks to me, oh, that's tricky, but I would say those are opposite. That's pretty close. I'm not positive. You know what? I think that's actually alternate. I wish I could look at it bigger. My eyes aren't great. So I think that's actually alternate. So you're going to have to bear with me. I think that's alternate. So we're going to try nine and see if I'm right. If I'm wrong, we'll start over. It's okay. So does the tree have white bark? It's light, but it's not white. And we already identified the one that has white bark. So does not have white bark. Go to 10. 
Number 10 says it has parallel veins. Nope, they all intersect that main vein, so it is not parallel veins. So we go to 11. Does it have a flattened petiole? This one does have a flattened petiole, and I need to write that down. So give me just a second before I forget, because I don't want to waste your time doing that. So number or tree I does have a flattened petiole. I'm just writing it down so I don't forget. Flattened petiole for number, or tr for tree eye. Okay, so it does have a flattened petiole, so we're going to go to tree, or to number 12. Does it have fewer than 30 teeth or more than 30 teeth? Well, I bet we could count those teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe there's a tooth there. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, somewhere around there, rough ballpark. That is less than 20 teeth per leaf. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a big tooth aspen. So let me write that down. That is tree I, ladies and gentlemen. Next, tree J. Oh, it's a fun color in the fall, um, but let's take a look at it. So starting back at the beginning. Um, no, or yes, it's more than two inches tall and no, it doesn't have needles. So we go to number five, the leaves are opposite or alternate. Well, the circle is telling us where to look. And I would say that that's actually alternate. It's not directly across from each other. So in that case, we're going to say alternate. So alternate says go to nine. And what is number nine? Nine tree is white bark. No go to 10. Leaves have parallel veins. Oh, that's hard for you to see. So that is not parallel veins. I'm going to write that down. Not parallel for tree J. No parallel veins for tree J. Um, so we go on to number 11. Number 11 says a flattened petiole. And the answer is nope, it does not have a flattened petiole. No flat. Got it. Um, so we go to number 13 since it does not have a flattened petiole. The leaf is simple. That means just one leaf on a stem or the leaf is compound. It's got lots of leaves on one stem. This is one stem right here. That's lots of leaves. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a compound leaf. So we just discovered that tree J is a honey locust. So we write J right there. All right, next, tree K, another of the really big trees. Um, let's start back at the top. So um, more than two inches tall, does not have needles. So we're going to go to number five. Are the leaves opposite or alternate? That is clearly alternate. That one's a really easy one to see. Um, so it says go to nine. We've had a lot of those recently. The tree does not have white bark, so go to ten. The leaves do not have parallel veins. They intersect this main vein. So that is not parallel veins. So it's go to 11. Um, do the leaves have a flattened petiole? No, they do not. Not flat. I got to write that down. So I don't, I'm going to try to edit this a little bit to make it easier for students. So it's not a flattened petiole. So that means we go to 13. Leaf is simple or leaf is compound? This is one stem right here, and it's just one leaf. That is a simple leaf. So it's go to 14. Does the leaf have smooth edges or toothed edges? Um, it, although it has points on the edge of each lobe, these are smooth edges. There's not teeth on this one. So that would be smooth edges. Smooth. I'm going to write that down. So that's smooth edges. And that just gave us our answer, I think. Oh, nope. Go to 15. We have one more. The leaf has lobes. For sure, when a leaf goes in and out, that is lobes. So that means we have a we're all done. Red oak. This is a red oak um, children. Children? Nerds. There we go. That's the word I usually use. Good. That's a red oak. All right. Oh, finally, we get a tree that has some needles. We've been passing that one the whole time. So let's take a look. Is the plant more than two inches tall? Yes. Does it have needles? Finally. Yes. Go to number three. Are the needles, so this is three, are the needles attached singly to the branch or are they attached, attached to the branch in bundles? I tried to get you this good close-up 
um, photo. So this is one needle attached to the branch. So it's attached singly and the name blue spruce, it actually kind of looks blue. So we definitely have a blue spruce here. So we're going to call that tree M. We're getting close here, folks. Okay, so let's go on. Tree N, interesting. It's another kind of needle tree. So does it have needles? Yes, go to three. Are the needles attached singly to the branch or are they attached in bundles? Well, let's take a look. There's one and two attached together. So this is attached in bundles. So if it's attached in bundles, we go to four and it says the trunk of the tree is orange and flaky near the top. The needles are three inches long. Oh, is that orange? Yeah. So we're going to say that that is a scotch pine, everybody. And let's call that, what do we call it? Um, tree N. There we go. And then let's do one more, or we've got two more left to do, I think. Tree O. Um, again, it's a needle one, so those are quick. Um, has needles, go to three. Needles attached singly or attached in bundles? Well, you know it's not a blue spruce, but you can see here that it's attached. There's actually like three needles that are attached to the branch at a time. So it's definitely in bundles, so we go to four. The trunk of the tree is gray. And because we already did the scotch pine, we know that the trunk of the tree here is gray. So I'm going to say that this one is tree. Oh, there we go. All right. Just one more, everybody. Tree P. I wonder if you can guess which one it is. We start at, back at the beginning. More than two inches tall. Does it have needles? No needles. So we go to number five. Are the leaves opposite or alternate? Oh, I can see really clearly, KJ, these are alternating. So go to nine. Does the tree have white bark? Nope, no white bark. So it says go to 10. Do the leaves have parallel veins? Oh my gosh, they do. I know this is really hard for you to see. And if you could um, blow it up and look at it really close, you would see that none of these veins intersect with the center vein. So those are called parallel veins. It's very unusual in trees. This is a super ancient type of tree that's been around since the dinosaurs. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a ginkgo biloba. So we write tree P right here. I can get it to work. There we go. P. And you, everybody, are done. That is it today. Have an awesome rest of your day.